All right, we got a special here. Brendan Fraser leading Shia Cornwall. That's right. The most requested video is here. Yeah, it's going to be a wild ride. A kooky ride. Yeah, we're going to get a Cornish Caliphate. I can't believe it. Brendan Fraser in Mecca. Bro, the witches are going to go crazy in my country. Well, now we can walk on water. The Fraser heads go to war. This could have all been prevented if the rock hadn't betrayed Brendan Fraser. Now there will be a thousand years of Fraser head darkness. I've arrived at the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse, finally. What? Brendan Fraser kills his wife? What? Hit the road, geezer. Making a snake trail through Wales? Eventually, we'll get a kingdom title. Like, it's gonna happen. It's gonna take time. But we're gonna get it. I don't know if I'm gonna keep using this dynamic microphone, but, uh... It, it allows me to get, you know, really close to you guys. I can start a podcast. Yeah, but as Randall Savage... Good evening, everyone. It's me, Randall Savage. Welcome to the Randcast. I no longer disagree with people on the internet. What I do, if I have a if I have a disagreement with you, if we get in an argument, I'm going to your house and I'm going to kill you. So I saw you guys had some money and I was like, hey, why don't y'all give it to me? Not on my watch. Yeah, that's right. Y'all could have just given me money. Instead, I got to burn all these buildings to the ground. If this was EU4, I would just take your country. I enslaved you people to fight my wars and, you know, to give me money. But now I'm helping you guys out, so am I your slave? R.I.P. Brendan Fraser, most known for The Mummy, The Mummy 2, and The Mummy 3. Am I cheating? Yeah, yeah, I'm cheating. But it's to make things a lot easier in the long run. You gotta stick with me here. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. <sighs> You know, I was thinking I'd have some issues here. But I think, uh, I think it's all good. Wow, y'all guys got a cool country with an interesting history. You should tell me about it sometime. Not. Oh no, I, I won a duel, so what do I win? Depression. You know, I love the game Whack-A-Mole. I play it every day, actually. I love Shia Wales. It's a really cool country. Should be in the base game. We must honor our home. It is the only way. Sacred Cornwall. I never thought it'd come to this, but I have to call the horny police on my own son. My own flesh and blood. Those damn anime bitches, they turned my son against me. And against Allah. I must capture all these provinces for Cornwall. Farming piety like, yeah. Doing jihads like, yeah. And remember, anyone, I mean anyone can open up the console and give themselves a trait and become caliph. Now, to celebrate, we're gonna invade England. Oh my god, this was a terrible idea. Who talked me into this? Whose idea was this? Come on, speak up. Oh my god. I'm not- I'm not having a good one. Not having a good one. Everybody hurts. Yeah, sucks to be you, Essex. It really does. So, the joke is, is he's got this microphone and he can get, like, really close to it sometimes and, like, it's, it's funny when he gets close to the microphone. Yeah, that, that's the joke for the video. Yeah, th this joke's done. But now I have to do the whole video with this mic, so... Yeah. Well, 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 yeah. I, I don't care that you have allies. Really don't care. Poor Ireland. They went from, like, Viking raids to jihads real fucking quick. Here you go, Sheeler. Here's your new province. I've gotten kind of ballsy recently. I got some good victories in. We're gonna risk it. Risk it for the biscuit. We solved the troubles by putting Ulster under the caliphate. They call me the peacemaker. Wow, wow, wow. But I tell you, they don't call me the peacemaker for nothing. Partner? Yeah, I'm the, I'm the fastest child killer in the West. Hmm. This is gonna be easy. Yeah, I'm the king of the cake packers, you know. The assassins. Sorry, kid. You either give me this land or I kill you. I wrote The Book of Shadows? Hold on. That's a way better book. Magnificent. Yo, I don't- <laughs> We stole his shoes, okay. Hey, Brendan Fraser, thank you for coming on to the J Joe Rogan experience. Hey, man. Yeah, yeah, you know, pleasure's all, all mine. Uh, all yours. How does the expression go? I don't know. You want, you want to look at monkeys? Like, well, I have this clip. Jamie, Jamie, put on the clip of the monkey. The joke being is there's a monkey on screen, but if you're using the podcast app or whatever on Spotify or wherever it is, there's no monkey. So all you hear is, uh, whoa, whoa!
That's the joke. Now I know why I postponed this video for so long. I'm going insane. I can't handle mentally Shia Cornwall. Actually, I, I think I just play in the British Isles too much. I'm not gonna cap. Aw, oh, shit. Here I go again. Yeah, we're just invading Norway before I even get a empire title. Yeah, I'm sane in the membrane. Yeah, I feel like a bad person because, uh, you know, Bjorn from Norway, he's got to take care of his concubines and I'm kind of making that hard on him. I swear, I only get these two options here, like nothing else. I mean, they're not bad. Where's the bloodline for being a good homie? Me and the homies, we like to hang out and we like to have fun. Bro, I'm going to let you free. But you got to get some concubines, bro. You got to step up your game. All right, guys, sing it with me. Rule Britannia, Britannia, Britannia rule the waves. England never, never, never will be waves. All right, guys, pack it up. Let's pack up this rubble and make us a hookah bar. All I'm saying, the Vikings, dumb as hell for not taking this shit. That's free rocks, bro. You could have built you a McDonald's. Oi, William of Normandy. You suck, bro. Let's finish it off. Let's go. Oh, no, they landed on my capital. I, I can't believe it. Why, why are they doing this? It's like whack-a-mole. You see, I had to wait for them to show themselves right here because I'm not searching for them in their territory because they got pagan attrition. I love my kingdom. It's really great. We're going on vacation, baby. Let's keep it going. All I know how to do is consume, so I'm going to eat you. I just want to say I had a good McDonald's ice cream cone today. That shit was good. Now that I think about it, if I get some sort of weird disease, people are going to call back to moments like this where I say something like, yo, I eat McDonald's every day. And they'll be like, oh, that explains it. Some of my happiest moments in life take place eating at McDonald's. Okay, Germany, it's you and me. We're going to fight right now to see who's the better man. Once we have our way with Germany, there's nothing that will stop us from erecting McDonald's across all of Europe. It will be glorious. Yo, is this a Hearts of Iron 4 reference? My marshal died. Y'all guys killed my marshal. Look, we might have just killed you guys right there like it was a slaughterhouse, but... Y'all killed my marshal, bro. Yeah, Germany, not a good look. World War Europe getting kind of wild right now. Just the units going everywhere. Soon, there will be no more bratwurst. There will be... No more sauerkraut. There will only be McGriddles. And Big Mac. And we did it. All right. Oh. Yo. Wait a second. We got everything. And that was how me and my descendants conquered most of Europe. Wow. That's fucking crazy, dude. But tell me about The Rock. Didn't he, like, kill your whole career? It's kind of funny because, like, uh, man, he was, like, he was in The Mummy, too. That was, like, his big, like, Gig. That was your movie? He was the Scorpion King in there, yeah. Was, yeah, the, the, yeah, he was the Scorpion King. And, uh, yeah, that's how he started his mainstream movie career. You now, if you think about it, if you weren't nice to him and let him on your movie, he wouldn't be, like, the celebrity he is today. You, you helped him out, man. You had that movie, Journey to the Center of the Earth, and it was getting a sequel, right? And your director bailed out or something? And you bailed out with him because something happened. That was kind of, it's kind of cool. You, you had loyalty to him, but, uh, then the sequel came out, and they got The Rock to replace you because you chose your uh, your friend over uh, corporate greed. Is that is that what happened? And yeah, it's kind of been downhill since then, hasn't it? The Rock really betrayed you, dude. That's can can we talk about something else? Place a place that I know